Welcome back, soldier. Glad to see the medics managed to patch you up. All repairs have been completed and we've added a couple of upgrades to your feet. I know you're okay with those standard controller movements. We just need to check you're mobile enough for the Vite's more complex motion controls. So let's fire her up. To start the engine, reach across to this lever and pull. You know how tight it gets in here, so just reach forwards when you need a clearer view onto the battlefield. The slit view is good for general close range recon. Just use the basic controller to move and fire. Periscope to check further afield or to engage long range targets. Just reach directly above your head. All coming back to you? Good. Reach down to your left to adjust the transmission. Flip that into high speed if you need to make a fast escape. We don't want a repeat of last time. Now we need to check that hatch. That took a heavy battering on your last outing. Stand up. You've got a good vantage point up there. Bring the binoculars up to your eyes. See an enemy target? Push your arms forward to take the gunner position. Now on to the heavy weapons. There's armor penetrating shells there and high explosive anti-tank shells beside them. Just press those buttons to arm them and you'll be able to take down enemy heavy armor. Of course, your crew will be on hand to assist you in operation, but you may need to keep them under control too. Hey, stop! Ooh. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> and finally, the self-destruct button. This really is a last resort, but we can't have our VTs end up in the wrong hands, so don't press that unless... Only on Connect for Xbox 360.